In this category, you will learn how to use the correct techniques when using steady pressure to teach your horse to yield either away from the steady pressure or sometimes yield towards the steady pressure. Steady pressure is just another way of communicating to your horse using touch. There are lots of different types of steady pressure yields that you can teach your horse. The goal is to teach your horse to be light and responsive to your communication and also stay engaged and relaxed with all your interactions. When you use steady pressure, you want to use a consistent, constant pressure through a soft touch. The pressure shouldn't go on and off, but rather stay consistent until your horse responds. It's important when using steady pressure that you start really soft and light. If your horse doesn't respond, then gradually increase it to a medium pressure. If your horse still ignores the steady pressure, then you can increase the pressure to an effective increment of pressure until your horse responds. It's important that you instantly release and reward your horse the moment they yield away or towards the pressure to reinforce the correct response. Some horses are really sensitive, so it won't take much at all to get them to yield from the steady pressure. However, other horses can be dull and even lean into the steady pressure. If you have this type of horse, it's important that you always offer the soft pressure first and then follow through and apply an effective pressure. Your effective pressure will have to be a lot firmer until your horse learns the correct response to the steady pressure yield. Sometimes you have to combine rhythmic pressure with the steady pressure to help these types of horses to learn the correct response to a lighter suggestion. You use steady pressure a lot to communicate with your horse when you are riding them because you use your reins and leg contact to communicate with your horse. Riding is a game of close contact communication. Every now and then, you may use rhythmic pressure to back up your steady pressure when riding, but most of the time, you will use steady pressure to communicate with your horse. However, when you are working with your horse on the ground, you will use rhythmic pressure most of the time, as you communicate with your horse most of the time from a distance. You will only use steady pressure when standing close enough to touch your horse. The other time you will use steady pressure is to teach your horse to draw forward from steady pressure of the lead rope and come in towards you. This also helps teach your horse to tie up. Before horses learn to tie up, they have to learn how to come forward of steady pressure. As you can see, Teaching your horse to learn the correct response to learn to yield away and towards steady pressure is really important. I hope you enjoy teaching your horse all sorts of different steady pressure yields.